to the 5 minute clip contest 2021. In this video, we are going to talk about topics related to automatic medical image diagnosis with application in the otolaryngology field. Ear diseases are one of the most frequent pathologies treated in primary health services. However, it is estimated that the diagnostic error of a general practitioner is 50%. In addition, the World Health Organization projects a lack of health workers of 13 million by 2035. Both situations impact the proper implementation of treatments, increase health costs, and lead to serious health complications. There is an opportunity to introduce new tools to assist the physician during the diagnostic procedure in otolaryngology, with the aim to improve diagnostic accuracy. The otoscopy examination is traditionally performed with an otoscope that allows the visualization of the patient's ear canal and tympanic membrane. With this procedure, the physician will be able to identify the normal or pathological regions of middle and outer ear. With increasing use of computer-aided system, the digital otoscope has been incorporated into daily medical practice. This medical device allows us to acquire images of the eardrum and record the otoscopy examination in real time. As a result, we could create a tool that assists the physician diagnosis by automatically analyzing the images acquired during the examination. The combined effort of physicians and computer scientists allows the development of useful tools for medicine. To this end, two essential aspects must be considered. First, to have the approval of an ethics committee to elaborate and review the procedures to be followed. And second, to create the ground truth with the super of experts in the field, in this case, a panel of otolaryngologists annotated the diagnosis at the image level and delimited the regions of the eardrum at the pixel level. The computer aided system for otological diagnosis receives as input the RGB images of the eardrum. Before passing the data through a classifier, they are preprocessed to delimit the region of interest and discard undesirable blurred images. The ROI corresponds to the area in the image showing the eardrum. To address the classification problem, we can refer to classical machine learning methods, which, although easy to interpret at low computational cost, involve complex feature engineering prior to classification per se. However, end-to-end -end approaches of deep learning have achieved accuracies that are far beyond that of classical machine learning methods in many domains, including image analysis. A convolutional neural network is specialized in image processing due to it takes advantage of the special information of the input data by not resorting to initial vectorization. The main idea is to perform a dot product between two matrices, where one matrix is a set of learnable parameters or kernel and the other matrix is the restricted portion of the image. During the forward pass, the kernel slides across the image's height and width, producing a representation of the image known as an activation map. In backward propagation, the learnable parameters of the filter are adjusted considering the error propagation. The network is composed of different layers, including pooling and fully connected layers. The assignment of the final class, or in this case the diagnosis, is done by the subclass layer. In our application, the CNN assigns one of nine possible diagnoses to the input image sequence. An image-based diagnosis requires both good medical interpretation and good image quality. However, adverse effects may occur during the acquisition stage that significantly degrades the image quality and thus hinder medical diagnosis. In the previous work, a large amount of data could not be used due to the high degree of blurring, which includes the physician not being able to establish a diagnosis. One method to improve image quality and attack blur produced by a camera out of focus was incorporating a debris block into the pipeline of a computer-aided system. In this sense, a generative adversarial network was training to decrease image blurring. During the training stage, we used a database containing sharp samples and their respective blur pair. The main idea is that the generator network attempts to produce sharp images. Then, the discriminator network cannot distinguish between the original sharp image and the synthetically created one. As a result, all those blurred images acquired during the examination will be passed through the generator network so that it can decrease the blurriness in the image. We want to thank Federico Santa Maria University and the University of Chile. Also, to the medical staff and physicians of the Department of Otolaryngology for the help provided in pattern requirement and video acquisition. Thanks for watching.